So hello there. Uh, this time I'm not I'll not be playing any games, but I'll uh, I'll be trying to make a small small short tutorial about how to use MSI Afterburner plus a few other programs in order to uh, do the let's play videos like I do. This this is just I'll just demonstrate the way that I do it, and I'll try to be uh, fast on it because um, well. You won't be uh, wanting. Uh, there's a lot of troubleshooting that you need to do, and I can't do it all in one video. It's it's impossible. So if you have any problems, just type it in the comments below, and I'll help out as I can. So first, the program that I use to record is MSI Afterburner. This is actually an overclocking program with a good uh, video recorder um, built in, and uh, as I. As I'm using it to record, I can't show you the settings because it will um, uh, glitch. Probably you just shouldn't uh, tamper with the uh, with the in uh, while with it with the settings while you're recording, of course. So what I did was I captured a, a print screen of my settings here, and I put it on OneNote. So here's what uh, what's what I have in terms of the video capture. First, you would click Settings, and then you'll have this tab appearing here, and you would go to the Video Capture tab, and just make sure that it's exactly like I have here. Uh, I'll explain a few a few of these. The, the MGPG compression, this is the method that I use. You can try others, but I have no problems with this one whatsoever. Frame size, 16 by 9, 1080p. You should adjust the, this to either the monitor resolution that I have it, for instance it can be a 720p um, but uh, just don't use full screen or half screen or stuff like that because it's it's better to you for you to have a, a decent frame size and that you try to record like you're um, like you're watching on your own video on your own uh, monitor uh, frame rate 30 frames per second. That's that's really no. There's really no need to go any further since YouTube would downrate it to 30 frames per second anyways. Uh, some older games might need a good balance, so you should sh just make small videos of um, of older games to check if there's any lag and stuff, and then tamper with the with the settings, especially with the frame rate, to see if it goes away. For instance, my Heroes of Magic Magic 3 series is done in 20 frames per second, not 30, because otherwise it would uh, glitch. So then I have the video capture compatibility properties, it's on automatic, nothing actually selected. I haven't tried it with them, but I never need it, because it, it didn't glitch at all. Then we have the audio capture properties, and that's, that's, that's where I had uh, a lot of troubles, because this, this means like this, if I select like two audio sources like I'm doing that will create an AVI file with two um, with two streams of sound right one for my speakers it's in Portuguese but this altifalant it means speakers and the other one is my microphone the, the words it's kind of similar so what this means that you would have uh, an AVI file I can show you here would have like this an AVI file that actually has two settings for um, for audio. I'll be into that in a little bit later in the the problems that may arise from that. But this is how I do it. I just record with both other sources. The first one should be your speakers, and the second one should be your microphone. I'll explain it a bit later. Then you should have your a uh, good balance in terms of your sounding stuff. So I'm going to go into the Realtek sound and I have my speakers on the on 100, stereo mix on 100. If you don't know how to make this icon appear, you can check it out on YouTube. There's a lot of people explaining how to do it, but I'll, I'll try to explain it here. And my microphone, as you can see, my reproduction my uh, volume is quite low because I, I don't want it being on my headphones too much just a little bit so I can have some uh, f my own feedback but if it, it goes too much then it can create an echo when you're recording which is bad like your microphone could be capturing the sound from your headphones it 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 can be uh, tricky especially with some headphones that uh, allow the sound to 
to go out more so it's you just should uh, balance it out from your own uh, perspective okay so i'm going to start over here if i had sh made some changes it, it would probably glitch or something so i guess that's it for the ah one more note don't mix multiple audio tracks like i would uh, have these two audio sources and then oh okay it allows me to mix it mix them it actually creates a kind of uh, metallic sound and it also would not allow you to strip the microphone file to um for you to edit it and that's a big part of what i do to, on my videos i'm going to show you in here so this is it from the one note i think i don't need anything else so the result would be something like this the, these avi files are actually my the native files which i recorded i won't open them here because it might glitch but these are the the recent ones they are 23 Jonas 20 Jonas 21 okay so uh what should i show you ah after i have these files or the file that i play through my game um i'll use any video converter this program like i i have already opened day 23 here and as you can see it has two audio strips i would select the second one which is my microphone and i would convert it to a mp3 mp3 audio file it's easy you just convert it to mp3 audio file what does it leave you with well it leaves you with this a sound file a simple sound file what do i do with it i use audacity a good program to edit it okay i won't use it because it does glitch but this is something that i use just to uh, this is in portuguese you you can uh, find it in english of course but this is the program that i use to edit the hissing sound from the microphone you might be hearing it here on this recording if i wasn't able to edit it but usually on my videos you won't hear that hissing sound at least from a from, from um from a while back now so there's a lot of uh, youtubers uh, describing how you can do this but for me the biggest problem was how do i even get to this like to an audio file with my microphone and that was solved using msi afterburner and making those two audio files okay those two audio files on the same avi file which then i would strip with any video converter you can see it here so after i edit this file i have to merge them back to the original file and then i use movie maker now I can play this and I'm going to show you that this is the original Dale 23 AVI see and it it doesn't have the microphone there why because it movie maker only accesses the first audio uh, strip so what I have here without this WAV file that I already added it's this one the one edited what I have here is simply the game sound with no commentary whatsoever okay what I do is I add my commentary like you would add a um, a song to a, a normal video that you have done at home. Okay, so this is what happens. Hello there, welcome to another episode of this Dale campaign with me, Susan. Okay, and now you can see that maybe the 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 gaming sound is a little bit high. So what I do is I just click the audio mix between the video and the music and I would mix it as I want it for instance if I do like this so uh, let's check around what you can notice that the gaming sound it's really on the back now and that's what I actually do to edit my videos then I will just save it I actually use the default stuff I'm going to show you I just use the re default uh, this is adds um, it's in Portuguese but it says just recommended for this project but you can select any other if you want it I just use the default one and it works pretty well so I guess that's it that's how I usually record if you have any troubles with anything uh, on this uh, process on this process just make sure you uh, give me either a message or you select in a comment below or you type a comment below and I'll try to help you out 
So yeah, I hope you, you have enjoyed it and yeah, be cool. Goodbye.